Hey guys, today we got something really special. Normally, you know, so here's my shop. So we're going to use this device here at the Salem Fair. Um, and so what I wanted to do was show you a rare inside of the unit and how it actually works and uh, how these operators and people just go out there and just make way too much money. Um, you know, but mainly just, I was always curious because I play these and as you can see, I've played these games a lot and uh, one out of them a lot so uh, just to give you an idea of what you know what happens and how they are able to do these things so if you give me a second we'll get in here and get to the bottom of the device oh, might help if I undo that first There's the bottom. You have to unlock it first. If you don't want anyone stealing your money. Okay. And so we have upper and lower levels. The bottom part has your cash. You can, uh, this, this guy right here, um, set your, where your coins go, credits or whatever you have. And then this is also your coin collector or your bill collector, in this case, where your money would go. So, there we have for this. And I'm going to flip this guy on. That should look a little more familiar to you. Bill machine resetting. So, yeah. So each one of these may be a little bit different, but the bottom part of this is controlled by a panel. You have the inside of it down here, and I believe something somebody said that something in here, um, these guys here actually determine what the payout rate is. I'm not 100%. This is either for serial ports so that you can input something or output to a monitor, I'm guessing. Your power supply DC to AC, your control unit here, your door mechanism so that uh, your prizes don't go walking. Um, this is kind of cool. This is like a down area. So I ever wonder like, oh man, you know, I've seen some of those games where the, you know, the prize, oops, you know, falls out. So, you know, somebody will win a prize like this and, oh man, you know, they say, hey, I won that prize. Well, if it's done correctly, it'll come out of the chute and the chute will push down and it separates the bottom so that, uh, the operator has a chance to get their prize back. Uh, and also they can tell whether it's been tampered with. So we're going to pick this guy back up, and all I'm going to do in this case is just pull this guy out, and this is how you can tell if you've won. So if you ever try to tell somebody that you won this game and you really haven't, this designates a winner or a malfunction of some sort. So if that thing's pushed down, then obviously that means that you, your prize has dispensed. So I'm going to put this guy back in. This has a little peg hole, so I'm just going to put it right here. And if you notice, right here, here it is, feed it through, push back, and for the most part, you know, it's snug as a bug, it's not going anywhere. So, the idea of this is, depending on the level of the value of the prize, usually designates what you set the pay to. Now, most people put the highest prize up here for the value, some people put the middle prizes, and some people put the bottom row as the hardest because it's the closest. So, however you want to set them, I believe, what I'm finding here on this control panel is that it's not only set by the row, which I'm used to, but also by the individual cell. So you can have a $500 item here and a $200 or a $100 item here, and it, and it hits accordingly to what you specify for that to happen. Um, not exactly sure what else other than that. I do know, as I said, I have speaker, which in this case, it's really annoying. It's pretty loud. So you can control that. So we're gonna push this down. Um, this is my main unit for setup. So obviously it says set up. It's kind of messed up, but you can control this. Um, and basically, so what we're gonna do is go into setup. You can control um, the prizes. So you have A, B, C, default settings, save. So if I go back here to the prizes, apparently you can set how often uh, that these prizes pay. And it's interesting to see how, 
you know, how that uh, di differentiates between the bottom. But, uh, you know, I don't exactly know what's going on here. So you got 10 here. I'm guessing B is here. So we'll do, that's 8. And then I'm guessing, so we go here to A. And that's, you know, instead of 8, that's 5. You know, hey, something like that. I haven't figured this out yet. Um, I'm going to be fooling around with this till I get it right to where it's fair to everybody. That gets you back out of the command. And, yeah, I mean, it has your coin counter and also how many prizes, which this is a very new machine, so it has very few prizes. Um, I believe, you know, the bottom level, I think, was set pretty low, you know, reasonable. That's not outrageous. You know, if you have a $20 prize, you know, it'll pay out within, you know, 40 or $50. Um, I have to adjust that to where it's fair to everybody, but, uh, you know, this, this is my favorite part, you know, it gives me credits. It's the God mode button, basically. So, if I spin this guy around, watch, I'm gonna hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten plays on this guy. And, uh, yeah, so I can close this. Or fake close it. And try to win the prize. This Keymaster is really weird too because what I found on this guy at least is that it comes out and it overshoots. So you actually have to undershoot this in order to get the prize where normally I have to overshoot it. You have to let it go like that. And then miraculously somehow you just manage to get it in there. Um, and you can see what I'm saying because watch. So real hey, listen. One shot. One, two. See how high it went? So not exactly sure. I don't know what the payout rate is yet on this. Like I said, I just got this machine. Really excited about it. It's my favorite game. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to set this fairly and, you know, understand how it works and, uh, you know, kind of go from there. But uh, otherwise, if you have any questions, comments, please leave a comment or description or something like that in the bottom. Uh, I might do more of these videos like this so that you can kind of know the secrets and ins and out of things. And this is the first time I've ever done this. And this is probably the first one of the first that I've ever seen on YouTube. So hopefully you guys like and subscribe and uh, we'll go from there.